Today, we're gonna see if you could shoot Daniel Schiffer style B-roll with the Pocket 2. I mean, how hard could it be? Hey. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel, I'm Sky. And on rainy days like today, I like to think of something fun to do. So today, we're gonna take the Pocket 2 and we're gonna tap in, like deep in, to our inner filmmaker, our Peter McKinnons. What's up everybody? Our inner Casey Neistat's. And, and, our inner Daniel Schiffers. Now, if you don't know who Daniel Schiffer is, just, you know, just click off this video. Just, just go. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. A little. But I gotta say, though, if you don't know who Daniel Schiffer is, I'll tell you right now, this man is a beast when it comes to recording epic promo b-roll. He is really well known for his handheld b-roll shots. I mean, just give this man a camera, a product to shoot, and he will beat it up with his hands. But not, not like that, not like that. You know what I mean. So today, we are gonna shoot Daniel Schiffer style b-roll with the DJI Pocket 2. Okay, so tapping into my inner Daniel Schiffer. Daniel Schiffer loves to shoot food and beverage promos. So, this is my kitchen. This is where we're gonna make a Daniel Schiffer epic B-roll promo using, oh, shoot, using the DJI Pocket 2. Now, making this Daniel Schiffer style promo is gonna be a little tough because I don't have like half of what he has. And I don't have any help to film me. I don't have any big lights. I don't, I don't even have a tripod. So it's all gonna be shot handheld with the DJI Pocket 2 and we'll go from there. Now I do have two lights, but they're like the small like square aperture lights. But in theory, I should have the advantage because the DJI Pocket 2, it's its own gimbal. So it'll be the DJI Pocket 2 gimbal versus Daniel Schiffer's hands. I don't know if that sounds right. But anyway, all right, so now one thing left to do is figure out what to film. You know what? I don't know what to film. I don't have a clue. I got it. I got it. We are gonna film this tea. Let's get started. Okay, I think I have a really good idea of how I wanna film this tea promo. From watching Daniel's videos, it seems like he actually films like the process of making it. All right, as for props, I'm gonna have the actual tea box for the hero shot, a tea bag, and a mug. And then, we're also gonna be using the water boiler. All right, tea box. It's going in here. I need this, I'm gonna hide this over here. And for the mug, the mug is going. And props for the first shot are gonna be my cell phone as well as the Surface Pro. The idea is I'm just getting off of work, so maybe an alarm is gonna go off or something, and then I'm gonna close up the laptop and then head to the kitchen to make the tea. I think that's good, right? Yeah, that's good. I'm only gonna use the DJI Pocket 2, and I'm gonna shoot it in 1080p, 120 frames per second, and probably one of these lights, the aperture light. Yeah, they work really well for when I'm doing sit downs or if I'm trying to just light something real quick. That's what I have, that's, that's all I have. As you can see, it's, it's not well lit in here at all, but, but you know what? We're gonna work with it. Okay, and Pocket 2 on. Also, I'm gonna leave everything in auto except for the color. So I'm gonna change the color to decent alike. Oh, you know what else? I should also get a shot of me like turning on the light switch, like turn on the light and going into the kitchen. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, so the light's gonna be off, and I'm gonna go up, click, down, and then you're in the kitchen. Tell me that's not gangster. Come on, that's Daniel Schiffer all day, every day. That, Tapping into the Daniel Schiffer, man. Tapping into it. Also, when I watch Daniel's videos, he does it like 50 times. Just in case like 49 of the shots don't work. So, okay. You know what? I, I, think, 
we got that shot. Moving on. All right, the next shot's gonna be grabbing the coffee cup or the, the, the mug, okay? So, put it there. That looks good, right? That looks good, right? All right, pocket two time. Whipping out this baby because it's a little dark up in here. Don't see it. And then you see it. All right. I think we got it. Okay, next I want to get a shot of the water boiler. Maybe do it from here. Down, 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 down. Click and then whoosh, and then it shoots into, I don't have it all planned out, okay? But it's, it'll, it'll whoosh into the next shot, okay? Mm, dum, dum, dum. Click, whoosh. Perfect, boom, okay, moving on. All right, so next I wanna get a shot of the boiler actually boiling. So I need to turn the boiler back on and then wait until it boils. We're gonna get the water boiling and then I'm gonna get a shot around the boiler with the water going, okay? So the water is boiling right now. So, oh, dang it, you know what? I'm gonna sh I should move this, uh, I should move the... Yes. Okay, good, look at that. It only took me like, it was like seven tries. That's, psh, come on, got it. Inner Daniel Schiffer, man, inner Daniel Schiffer. Okay, now the next shot I wanna get is actually putting the tea bag in the cup. So let's see if we can grab that shot, but I wanna get it from going from below. You know what, I'll show you. Ah, that, that's the idea, that's the idea. I wanna just kinda go up with it, and then down with it, right into the mug. Do you guys think that Daniel Schiffer has problems with his Joby pods? Man, my my Joby Gorilla pod, it will not. Look at that, look, look, look. That is, man. I'll light it up a bit. The tea bag's a little wet. No, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, okay. I think we got it, moving on. Next shot, the water being poured into the mug. Huh, right, right. Okay, so it's gonna be boom, follow, and then pour. Perfect. Actually, you know what? I think I poured the water in without the tea bag in it. You know what, move it on, move it on. We ain't got all day. Okay, so the next shot, and I think the last shot we need is the beginning shot. The shot of me finishing work, closing up the laptop, and then head to the lights. Come on, come on, I think that's good. I think that's good. All right, so let, let's do it with the DJI Pocket 2. Yep, I think that's good. All right, I think we are done. Oh, no, 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 no. We need one more shot. We need a hero shot. So I think we're gonna take that shot actually right here. We'll, we'll clear the table and take the same shot right here. Okay, so the idea of the hero shot is I want it to like pan out and next thing, and you'll see the T and then my hand sliding in the T with the, the, the cup. You know what I mean, the cup. And it's like steaming. But I might have to add the steam. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. There, so 
fly back, and then T. Okay, not exactly like that, but you, you get the idea. You get the idea. So let's go shoot the last shot, and I'll edit it and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, that looked freaking awesome. Like for real, I, I, I like this thing, this, it, it's good, it's good. It's so light and you can just like light it. It's, hopefully the quality's good and it's in focus. That, that's like my biggest thing, it, it may not be in focus. <laughs> but other than that, we're good. I did keep it in continuous autofocus, so. But anyway, let's go ahead and edit this thing and show you the final product and see if this epic B-roll is as epic as Dale Schiffer's epic B-roll. So, we'll find out. Okay, we are back. And I, I, I've already edited the footage. Not gonna lie, it, it looks pretty good. Like I'm sure Daniel could have done way better than what I've done, but it doesn't look bad. But the big question was, can you shoot Daniel Schiffer style B-roll with the Pocket 2? And the answer is, I would have to say at least, yes. There are some things I would change just to get better footage, but for the most part, you can shoot Daniel Schiffer style B-roll with the Pocket 2. And I would say that this thing's actually, this thing could be perfect for shooting Dale Super Stop B-Roll just because of the mechanical gimbal that's attached to the camera. Also, there was a shot that I wanted to use, but I didn't use it in the promo. So there was a shot that I wanted to use and I didn't realize how close you could get to the actual camera and it still be in focus. So this thing could shoot like close up product shot. Yeah, I think you could shoot epic Daniel Schiffer style B-roll with the Pocket 2. Now, a couple of things that you might want to consider that I didn't consider is you might want to change the focus on the Pocket 2. In the B-roll that I shot, I shot it all in continuous autofocus, but that may not be the way you want to go. You might want to go to single autofocus. Next, definitely, definitely shoot decent light. Someone left in the comments in the last video that you can get much better quality out of this little camera using decent light. Don't use the native color. Use descent alike and color correct. Also, bump that max ISO as low as possible. That way you can get the best, the best crisp footage out of your B-roll. Also, another thing that I would have done differently is I would have definitely had some kind of light source the entire time. I only use my small aperture light maybe three or four times. I should have used it for every shot I was trying to get. And then on top of that, like, it is hard to be Daniel. Like, I'm such an idiot. I left so much stuff on the counter. Like, there's this, like, the one perfect shot of the water boiler. That shot, I should have moved the toaster either completely out of the way or moved it way back and had the water boiler moved up. That way, the focus would have been on the water boiler. So it's just little things like that that I noticed could have made the B-roll better. But, but for real, Daniel Schiffer, you the man, because I just did one video of this and it, one, it took me forever. I made, in the video, I cut a lot out, but I was like breaking stuff and oh darn, I just shot that entire Daniel Schiffer B-roll with trash sitting on the counter. It is hard to be Daniel Schiffer. Woo. And I was having a hard time getting the shots that I wanted. Shooting epic B-roll is not an easy thing to do, but I feel like if you have practice and you do it enough times, I think you can make it happen, especially with the DJI Pocket 2. And the more I get familiar with the Pocket 2, I actually like it a little bit more and more because I'm learning the best settings to get the best footage possible on this little camera. So the more I play with it, the more I like it. Not, not like that. Now the camera is not perfect, but for the most part, it does a pretty good job. There are some things I don't like about it, which I might make a video about, I haven't decided yet, but there are some things I don't like about it. But overall, 
I actually really, really enjoy using the pocket tip. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button down below. Also, if you are new, consider subscribing. If not, you should still subscribe because we're trying to get to 500 now. We just hit 200 subscribers. Next goal, 500. Oof. But anyway, thanks again for watching. And if you have a pocket too, leave in the comments down below what you like about it. Also, try to shoot some Daniel Schiffer B-roll. Like, just try it. It's so fun. I might try to shoot a couple more Daniel Schiffer B-rolls with the pocket too. So I highly recommend you guys trying it. You're gonna love it. That's it, guys. Make sure you guys stay active, keep creating, be safe, and be a boss. I will see you guys in the next video. Yes. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston. One small step for my man. My athlete for me. Yes.